Let's use a cosmic tarot. All right, cosmic tarot. Really like this deck because it shows the nine of cups with uh, your, you know, your future partner, your present partner. I see the six of cups, right? This is a the this is a soulmate connection. All right. And um, you normally in other type of tarot decks, uh, you see two children, but in here is like individuals that been, you know, in love for a long period of time, even through different timelines, different eras, they still have this connection. They still find, manage to find each other in, in each timeline, okay? And, and look how beautiful these cards are. With the two of cups here like this individual will not both of them will not get distracted with anybody else see how they're facing each other with a lot uh, with loving care being affectionate with each other look at this lovers right they they just have love for each other and no one else can ever like interfere with their connection okay This is a be very beautiful deck, okay? Um, let's see. So I was drawn to the I'm cooking at this point, but I feel like this is gonna be the last deck that I do. I might do one more deck. Okay, but let's see. Oh, you see the title card. <laughs> The cover tarot. There it is. All right. Okay, so we have we have the King of Swords. All right. This is an individual that is Libra. Okay. It could have Aquarius and it could also have uh, Gemini placements. All right but this is an individual that's embodying the libra energy okay this is a person that really analyzes things before it speaks okay this is not a person that's gonna blurt things out this is a person that really does take the time to um investigate and do research and really and look at the facts okay this is not a person that when it's angry is just gonna be talking out of his ass okay this is a person that regardless of of the emotion that he's uh feeling he's gonna take control and 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 speak on facts okay this is a person that is firm but very flexible at the same time but this is a person that is very truthful and honest and you could really de uh, depend on this person and and it's a trustworthy energy okay okay let's put him here and then we have the eight of wands this is a person that takes action again because this person is it's um a person that takes action in a fast manner but he's quickly to you know google things he's quick to read uh you know if he doesn't understand something believe me this person will look at the definition at the synonyms of that word and really find like you know really decode and decipher each motherfucking word okay this is a person that does that it takes risk but necessary risk okay this is a person that is fearless and this is a person that that you that that will defend you okay this is a a, a person that will defend you no matter what okay wow with the princess of swords this is a person that is a sacral sex sexual all right um this is a person that gets really turned on with intelligence all right uh this is a person that that get that likes the voice okay he really admires someone's voice okay but this is a person that goes beyond the voice okay this is a person that is like okay you have vocal skills you are a great speaker but are you telling the truth right this is a person that really values honesty okay and 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 that really um honors also like you know um someone that is 
truthful, okay? Wow, with the chariot here, okay? Uh, with the chariot energy here. Um, this is a person, again, that, like, it, 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 it likes to travel. It doesn't like to feel like, okay, I cannot go here because of this and that. No, this is a person that is fearless, okay? This person will go, like, if you ask this person for help, this person will, like, say yes, you know, help you, okay? All right. Prince of Wands, right? He has Leo energy as well. He, this is a person, a masculine that embodies uh, a very loving character, okay? This is a person that... Uh, Mm, that that enjoys being charismatic and charming and uh, playful, okay? As if someone that is flirtatious, that gives you those little... It's not going to be sexting you in a very perverted way, but in a more gentle and loving way, okay? And, and, and when it's complimenting you... Is not doing it in a way where you feel like violated, but instead you feel like this person is being honest in, in its compliments and in its positive comments, okay? Uh, this is someone that reacts to, to what you're saying or what you're doing and really uh, likes to uh, acknowledge what your, your accomplishments, your achievements, right? With the death card here, this is a person that has been through a lot of bullshit and has evolved from it, right? Has learned its lesson from everything that they, they, it's like the past is dead to them. This is a person that you can trust, that they're not going to fuck around with karmics, that they're not going to be, you know, getting distracted with temptation and shit like that. This person knows how to value themselves, their mind, body, and soul, all right? Um, very interesting. We have the Six of Swords here, okay? With the Six of Swords, this is a person that loves music. It could be a choreographer, all right? This person really loves to dance, uh, really loves music, okay? This is a person that is very skillful, talent, you know, it has a lot of talent, a lot of potential, um, this person has been doing this in different timelines. I could kind of see like a, um, you know, a, a 30 degree or a 90 degree angle on the pyramid. All right. It's giving you just a, a little bit of a notion that this person has Egyptian um, DNA. Okay. This is an ancient soul. Again, and we're referring to a, a love connection. Okay. This is a very romantic uh, partnership that we're attracting, okay? Um, let's see, what else? Oh, wow. <laughs> the Queen of Wands. There is definitely some, some age difference, okay? Because we have the Queen of Wands with the Prince of Wands. And then we also have the Princess of Swords and the king of swords there is some type of age difference all right but the, they both know how to embody their child energy within them all right which makes it very um it, it, that's a positive thing to do if you're able to successfully embody your child energy and still be mature and be uh an adult when you need to be an adult then you are perfect right because that means that you are able to play around and be you know flirtatious and and you know ride on the swings and 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 and, and go on the slide and 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 do and be affectionate then that's your child energy right when you're not afraid to say i love you when you're not afraid to be honest and say you know what there's a little booger here and there you know what i'm saying and just wipe it off and stuff like that you know that you're able to joke around you're able to you know and uh, get each other's uh, like end each other's uh sentences and stuff like i feel this a strong twinky connection here okay all right and so this is a contract right it's a contract uh, of love actually it's making the right choice by god 